Alright everyone, today I'm going to show you some of my Jurassic Park action figures. Now this box is going to be mostly dinosaurs, but it could be some other stuff. Like humans, or vehicles, or anything else. I don't know. It could also be some non-official Jurassic Park toys. Now this one has a wire on it. I think I was hanging it from my room or in the kitchen or something. Okay. And uh, here's a big Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one has some kind of uh, spring-loaded thing on the inside. And these big ones are really cool because they're soft, but it feels almost like there's a skeleton on the inside. And the tails are poseable. Here's my other big dinosaur. This is from the very first series. I think this was about $40 when it came out. Maybe. It was, it was a lot. It, it was electronic. You would do like that and it made like a stomping noise so you could stomp around on the ground. Here, I think this is from later series, like maybe when the third movie came out. Because they're all weird fluorescent colors. This one is not an official Jurassic Park product, but it's very awesome. It's probably the coolest Velociraptor toy I've ever seen. It's got poseable toes. And the tail is posable. Okay, here's another electronic one. Some of these electronic ones are leaking battery acid, I think. So uh, the farther the video goes, the more dirty my fingers might get. Because these figures have been in storage for years. And there might be uh, a lot of dust or cobwebs or maybe even some bugs or something, so sorry about that if there's anything like that. But I didn't want to go through this whole box and clean every single one just to make a video. Here's another one of these. This one has a slightly different head shape. If you can see them comparison. Okay, this uh, I think was on a, some kind of tube of maybe candy or something. I don't know. It's just hollow vinyl or something like that. Uh, this one was electronic. Cool sculpture. This one is bendy, very bendy, very poseable, cool head, rubbery. I'm going to try to go fast on some of these because it's a very big box and there's lots of stuff to look at. I don't know if I might have to split this video up into more than one pieces. Oh, this one's making a noise. Make that noise again. Oh well. There's another fluorescent one. Um, I think his spines go up and down. If I can, there we go. And uh, I think this is some kind of velociraptor, maybe. I'm not sure tail. That's cool. This mouth opens really wide. Uh, I'll do these later. Here's a, I think they call it a juvenile T-Rex. He's got the same cool squishiness. And this I think they called this Dino Damage or something. 
Very nice face. Um, another one of these. Is this a Spinosaur? Um, I think this is a Carna, Carnotaurus or something. I don't know, Carnosaur. Squishy. Is he missing a piece? Here's an electronic young, well, my, I don't know, it might not be electronic, but it's a Triceratops. I don't know how they get messed up. They just, I buy them brand new and I put them in a box and the paint comes off. Um, I think this is a capture device for a dinosaur. This is a small pterodactyl or some kind of pterosaur. Not sure what that that's from. There's a big raptor. I think this is a Utah raptor. Uh, I think it's electronic. Okay, sorry I had camera problem. Here is the big, uh, the big, um, Triceratops. Um, I think if you squeeze them right here, you can ram stuff. And he's got this damage. Really cool. Here's a Stegosaurus. Um... He's got some kind of weird joint thing going on in his head. I don't know what that is. Uh, I like the paint on this one. Nice colors and pattern. Um, another some type of raptor. Electronic. Here's the piece of um, this guy. Goes in like that. Ooh, I don't really like this one. But I bought it because I was collecting all the figures. Huh, his head should go out when I do something. It's not going out. I don't know how to try to push the button. Oh well. Uh, got this guy. I think he uh, is electronic and uh, he, there's a running feature. Let's see. Well, oh, I don't know why they don't work so good. It's just a mechanical thing, not a battery. Um, this, I think, goes on the head of one of the T-Rexes. Let's see. A lot of these are, are electronic, but the batteries are all dead. Here's another uh, Stegosaurus. Not sure where this one came from. Is it the same, same, uh, yeah, different mold? This one's got hard plastic scales or fins or whatever, and these are soft. This one is. From the very first series, when the, when the movie came out, the first movie. And so is this one. 
really nice. Okay, this one I believe is the one that this goes on. So, like, you could pretend he was captured. There's probably a bunch of that capture gear in the box, but I don't think I'm going to show it all. This is the same mold as um, this one. It's exactly the same, just different colors. This is a, a little T-Rex with a broken leg, I think. Uh, yeah, see, you could put, like, a fake cast on him. Uh, one of these guys, a bonehead, or whatever they're called. Another one of these. Oh, Spring-loaded mouth. Cool paint. This one's really old. And, oh, did I have two of these? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, we got one of these guys. And, uh, this one's not posable. This one's really old, too, from the first series. This would be one of the last ones left in the store after all the other ones sold out. Because no one wanted this one. This is a finger puppet. I guess I have two of these. This one has a cast on it. I don't know why I have two. Um, these ones are kind of hard to find. They have wire in them. They came in a two pack. Oh, this one is, this is, I like this one. I don't usually like the ones that are weird colors, but I like this one, this Raptor. It's the same uh, mold as the, the old one. Where is it? There it is. This is the, the first Raptor that had the, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. The head moves. I can't do it. It's the same mold but different colors. And here we have a guy. Uh, sorry, I don't know their names. Just a guy. Weapon. Um got this thing. It's kind of sticky with battery acid. This, this one is one of my favorites because uh, he squeezes, you, you fill him up with water. See, he's got a hole in there and you fill him with water and you can spit the water out. Very cool. Okay, I think there's just vehicles down in here. So, um, this is a Jeep. Uh, this goes on like there, and you can break it off. And it's got some pieces and stuff. Oh, stegosaur thing. And there's a little kid in here. And there's some other random pieces in there that I don't really know where they go. This has a net that you can catch things with. Oh, it's broken. I think I have another one of these somewhere. And last but not least, the truck, the Ford Explorer. This is another one of my favorite toys from the Jurassic Park series. That comes off. I've always liked the paint job on it. And as you can see, it's filled with some characters. Is that Alan Grant? Someone's leg. 
this opens. And it's full of guys and weapons and little dinosaurs. And oh no! Some dinosaur melted my truck. And this opens up my, my poor truck. I need a new one now. Alright, and now I will do the things that were in the bag. Okay, so I'm taking them out first. Okay, here's all the toys. These are metal die cast. Um, we got a spitter, Dilophosaur, and a Stegosaur. Stegosaurus. Very cool one. And next is what will it be? I don't know, this weird thing. Sorry, I don't know what they're. Some of them. And one of these. Pteranodon or something. Pterodactyl. And next we have this thing with really cool colors. I don't know what it is. Maybe a Gallimimus. Maybe something completely different. But I like the paint. And next we have a Brachiosaur, Brachiosaur, Brontosaur, Brachiosaur. I don't know. And a T Rex, yay! He's on some rocks. Are these focusing? Kind of. There we go. And then we have a Velociraptor. And he's stepping on a little dinosaur down there. Demetrodon or something. Focus, because this is the end of the video. It's not focusing, sorry. And two more. What will they be? This, I believe, is a Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon. Pretty cool. And last but not least is a thing. A Triceratops with the paper is sticking to him. Yay! Alright, that's pretty much all that's in the box, except for a couple of random weapons or something. I hope you liked this video, and if you want to like or subscribe or anything like that, or comment, ask me some questions, I will answer them. Alright, see you later. Thanks for watching.